everybody that works for Gawker slash Kinja slash Gizmodo Media, except Tim Rogers, should delete their internet. And I mean that with every fiber of my being transcending politics. So the Gawker, what was formerly Gawker, is now known as Gizmodo Media, and it contains such websites as Kotaku, and of course Gizmodo, uh, Splinter, The Root, uh, AV Club, and a few others. There are some quality articles on there, nor notably when they stick to subject matter that um, is, is site-specific, like... Um, or, or it's about, uh, it's not something about uh, social or politics. They're not really good at those two areas, in my opinion. They are a f basically far left or far uh, mainstream, I, I almost want to say mainstream Democrat, but I don't really think it's quite mainstream. Um, but they have uh, a definite bias. Now, look, it's okay to have a bias uh, for the left or the right, okay? It's okay if a site is primarily about the, um, you know, anti-Trump or pro-Trump or whatever, whatever the culture might be. Um, but uh, uh, there are so many stories. It's like, they, maybe they're not as bad as the Daily Beast, okay? But there's so many stories that come out. It's such an echo chamber. Like, almost every... Like, when they, deal, when they really deal with the nuts and bolts of, like, for example, Kotaku and gaming, AV Club and film and TV, um, they have a website about sports and about racing, and there are, you know, there is also, of course, Life Hacker, when they're dealing with life hacking stuff, you know, little tips and tricks, they're pretty fun to read and pretty shareable. But there is so, for example, The Root. Uh, it's really, really hard not to look at the root, and good intentions, bad intentions, it's largely a racist website. Um, but there's a lot of sort of activism, or they can't, they have a lot of trouble keeping their politics out of all their reviews, or out of their articles, out of their editorials. And Regardless of what your politics might be, it might be comforting to hear orange man bad, orange man bad, orange man bad. But I've noticed a lot of people saying, like, look, maybe talking less about the social justice, the modern religion that is social justice, talking a little less about global warming, talking a little bit less about those things and focusing on the actual culture, the actual... Um, the elements that, that come together to create these products, these the actual... It's not all about your wedge issues. It's not all about um, politics staying, you know, politically engaged. People need a break from that sometimes. And in fact, there have been gaming websites, in fact, that have sprung up that actually try to stay away from talking about any kind of politics. Um... But we've seen Gizmodo Media do some very questionable things. And of course, they I, I'm not sure if anybody actually thinks that they're serious. I don't know if... I don't know how seriously their people, their, their readers, take their political content, their political website. I believe it's called Splinter. Um, but... They're so they're they're more, they're so unbelievably biased, and they report everything in a hyperbolic manner, kind of like a tabloid. Sometimes they're true, sometimes they're not true. They have just as much fake news as many other websites on all sides of the political spectrum. But I don't know. There's a few people on there uh, that are very unsavory. Of course, Gawker got sued by Hulk Hogan back in the day, and the owner had to pay something like $150 million or some incredible number because they essentially defamed him. They, post, they posted, uh, well, they didn't defame him. They posted a video, I believe, of Hulk Hogan, like a sex tape or something. And 
they got in trouble. So they're really basically a tabloid. And I feel like it's like whenever I look at their articles, it just feels so unhealthy. It's like it's comfort food for leftists, sure. Um, you know, but I don't know. I don't think it's all that healthy to be taking in to be taking this stuff seriously. So I do often say I think that everybody at Gizmodo Media should be fired. I am sorry. Um, but there is one exception, Tim Rogers. Great guy. Watch his videos. Watch, read his articles. He's actually pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah, I don't have a great, I don't have a high opinion of Gizmodo, but occasionally they do have some good articles. It's just, you have to wade through a whole lot of SJW stuff to get there. 